Hello, this is John Macero, Interim Superintendent of Melrose Public Schools. My term as Interim Superintendent will come to a close at the end of the month. I want to take a moment to thank you for the opportunity to serve as your Interim Superintendent. Throughout this year, we have all experienced a lot of successes as well as some concerns. My goal has always been to address all issues and create solutions that will be best for moving Melrose forward. In some cases, I feel I have done that, and in other cases, there is still much work to do. I believe strongly that Melrose offers its students an excellent education, and I am confident within the next few years, Melrose will be an example of what other districts will want to be. Throughout the year, I've been transparent regarding all issues that come across my desk as interim superintendent. Therefore, I want to continue this transparency regarding the following issues. Number one, middle school incidents. Over the past school year, the district has investigated multiple instances of discriminatory language by students at the middle school. It is unfortunate that students feel it is okay to use racial slurs and inappropriate language to each other, both in and out of school, as well as on social media, in videos, and text messages. The middle school has investigated every instance that has been reported and is within the school's purview and has connected with all parties involved to resolve these issues and ensure safety moving forward for all students. As we are dealing with situations involving students, district policy and state and federal laws and regulations on student privacy greatly restrict our ability to share information with the community regarding discipline and outcomes of those investigations. What I will say is in some individual cases, we did hire a third party to investigate and we are still waiting for the outcome of the investigation. We recognize that no consequence alone can guarantee a change in behavior. The use of racial slurs and inappropriate language must be addressed comprehensively with consequences and education. As a district, we must work together to articulate what we mean when we say that our schools should feel safe for all students and then uphold those expectations through consequences, education, and restorative work when harm has been caused. We do not engage in this work alone. We have partnered with the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents to join their organization called IDEAS, which stands for Initiatives for Developing Equity and Achievement for Students. And we have consulted with them to plan our next steps. This past week, we learned that a particular party has asked for an Office of Civil Rights investigation against Melrose Public Schools. Melrose Public Schools takes this very seriously and looks forward to meeting with the Office of Civil Rights to show how we have responded to those issues. We ask that the community allow the due process to happen before making assumptions on what did occur, and to remember that all kids involved are students. Rumors and speculations can also cause harm. Number two, recent incident at the Winthrop Elementary School. As stated in previous emails sent out to all, We cannot discuss any specific details, as this is an ongoing investigation. However, what I can tell you is the following. The district has retained a third party to investigate the incident. On Friday, June 7th, we were informed by the third party that at the request of some of the involved parties, the investigation will not begin until after June 14th. Therefore, the investigation will continue after school is out and will conclude after all parties have been interviewed. As stated above, we ask that the community allow due process to happen before making assumptions of what did occur. And number three, actions moving forward. We have a lot of work to do to prevent future incidents of racism. We're committed to doing that work within the schools. But we also ask you to tackle difficult conversations and topics within your homes and families including the ways in which our children learn racism and bias online and on social media platforms. Last week, the mayor, incoming superintendent, and myself shared our commitment to doing this work, along with the document of resources for students and families. We will make sure that this document is on our website as well, 
And as caregivers, I am asking you to support these conversations with your children throughout the summer and beyond. We are committed to hearing from and listening to all of our stakeholders, especially our students of color and their families in Boston and Melrose. As we holistically assess, review, and revise district policies and procedures, it is important that we as a district grow in the right direction and become all inclusive. We are all Melrose students and should be treated as such. And finally, transition. Over the next three weeks, I will be transitioning with incoming superintendent Adam Dalidi. Mr. Dalidi is excited to join Melrose as he has shown by being present at all school committee meetings over the last six months and being a guest of our leadership team over the last three months. I wish Mr. Dalidi great success as he becomes the next superintendent of Melrose Public Schools. In closing, all elementary schools will close this Thursday at noon and the Melrose Veterans Memorial Middle School and the Melrose High School will close on Friday at noon. It has truly been my pleasure to serve you all, and I wish you all a happy and restful summer break. Thank you.